In today's video, I'll be going over some tips and tricks for your Galaxy S25 that some of you may not know about. And best of all, this does work on any S25 model, not just the Ultra. So grab your popcorn and make sure to subscribe if you are a fan of no BS tech videos because hey, I always just say it how it is. Now this first trick will completely change the way your phone feels. The S25 series came out almost six months ago, but this trick will make you feel like the phone just came out. What this trick does is it makes the animations feel faster, which in turn makes the phone feel faster. So what you first want to do is go ahead and go into your settings. And then in the search box up on top, you want to type in build. Now you should see build number being the first option. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on build number. It'll go ahead and take you to this page. Once here, you should see build number again. All you got to do, fast click it a bunch of times until it'll ask you for your screen pin. Once you put in your screen pin, it'll say, hey, congratulations, you're now a developer, but you're not. Then what you want to do is go back to the main settings page, scroll all the way down, and then you should see developer options on the very bottom. Tap on it and scroll down until you see window transition and animator scale. Now by default, they will be at 1x. Tap on each of them and select 0.5x and you'll immediately notice how much faster your phone feels. I literally do this on all of my Android phones. You don't need to own a Samsung. So if you have maybe some friends that are using some older Android phones and they started to feel a little bit slow, go ahead and tell them this trick and you'll see how much they'll thank you. Now, another trick that I like is with the help of AI. And again, this works on all S25 models. If you've ever taken a photo and there's something in the background you don't like, you can erase it using the eraser, but that's nothing new. And well, the results may vary. A better way is to make sure you open the Samsung Gallery app and then tap on the Universal AI button and then select what you want deleted and watch how AI fills in the cracks. It is legitimately insane. This is seriously a lifesaver because you don't want your perfect moment being ruined by a guy eating a hot dog in the background as if he's never eaten a hot dog before. Best of all, this works on all photos. It doesn't matter if you've taken them on your Galaxy or on another phone. It even works on photos you've taken 20 years ago. So have at it. Another great trick with the S25 series is the new audio eraser, which yeah, is new for the entire S25 lineup. And no, it doesn't just mute your audio. Kind of. It uses AI to detect annoying sounds like, yeah, that. Go to the video you want to change, tap on the stars, and the phone will start to analyze the audio. Now, once it's finished, you can actually see different settings to change, and these also change based on what video you've selected. Here's a quick comparison. Hi, my name is Kurt, and it will be my pleasure to introduce to you the all-new redesigned 2025 Lincoln Navigator. Right off the bat, you hi, my name is Kurt, and it will be my pleasure to introduce to you the all new redesigned 2025 Lincoln Navigator. Right off the bat, you're going to see. Oh, and the best part is this works on any video in your gallery. Again, it does not have to be taken with the phone, meaning if you have a you know, a, a family video from like decades ago and you want to maybe, you know, get rid of the annoying person crying in the background. Now you can. Next trick is to give you better low light video quality and even into the nighttime. Go ahead and open up the camera and then tap on settings. Now the first option you see is auto FPS. Make sure you select use for 30 FPS and 60 FPS videos. So let me go ahead and explain. When you're recording 60 frames per second, your phone is essentially taking 60 photos per second, which is double that of 30. <laughs> Math is cool. But what that means is that whenever you're recording at 60 FPS, your phone's shutter is opening and closing 60 times a second, which doesn't really let in a whole lot of light, which is why it's always best to use that option during the daytime when there is a lot of light. However, when the phone notices it's a bit too dark outside, this setting will basically go from 60 to 30 FPS, uh, which means essentially your phone is grabbing twice as much light. Now, here's a very extreme example of 60 FPS compared to 30 FPS. And as you see, the difference is definitely noticeable. 
Finding the perfect wallpaper might suck, but with the help of AI, it sucks a whole lot less. Hold down on your home screen and then tap on wallpaper and styles. And from here, tap on change wallpaper. Select create with AI and then select generative. Now from here, you can play around, change the context, the colors, so on and so forth until you've generated a wallpaper that not only looks good, but only you in the world have this exact wallpaper. You can kind of think of it as your own little personal NFT. I don't, I don't know, are those things even still around? This NFT literally sold for 91 million. I'm gonna just uh, take it for free. But yeah, there you go. You have your own NFT. It's worthless, but at least it's yours and no one else can steal it from you unless you share it. So don't share it. So as we know by now, phones uh, are lasting more and more these days, right? And that's of course, thanks to a fantastic hardware, but also great software. And well, Samsung's newer phones are supported for seven years, which is great because that means you can use your phone for seven years because why not? You're getting more money out of it. So this next tip is essential for you to make sure your battery health stays as good as possible because, well, the hardware and the software might be good, but if your battery turns into you know, you know what, uh, then your phone becomes useless. So go ahead and open up the settings, tap on battery, and then tap on battery protection. From here, the setting I like best is adaptive because my sleep schedule never really changes. I am quite boring. Now, if your sleep is sporadic, you know, on and off, then I recommend basic, which stops charging your phone once it reaches 100% and then starts back up again when it drains back down to 95%. That little 5% fluctuation is going to keep your battery nice and healthy and happy. The longer, you know, time goes on, you won't need to replace your battery. And that, of course, saves you even more money in the long term. Now you can take things a step further and set the charge limit to 80%, like it will not charge over 80%. That's a bit much. Uh, I only recommend doing that if you're planning on keep your, keeping your phone for, you know, like 10 years or so. Now this next tip is so old that many people are actually forgetting that they even have this and others might not even know about it. But if you have some wireless charging devices like earbuds or heck, even another phone that supports wireless charging, your S25 can actually charge those devices wirelessly. To try this out, go to your quick toggles and find wireless power share. Now, if you don't see it, tap on the pen icon to find it and then just drag it on over. Now, just tap on it and flip your phone face down and place the other device on top. And there you go, now it's charging. Again, this is such an old feature and I guess not many people know about it. I mean, heck, even the toggle wasn't even there for me to begin with. I had to manually drag it on over. So if you didn't even know that pen icon existed or what it even does, you may not have ever even known you have this feature. And it's pretty awesome for those moments when, you know, you're on a run and then your headphones die, boom, just place your headphones on top of your phone for like five, 10 minutes and you're good to go. Now, the battery life on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, as we know, is really good. And if I'm being honest, even the S25 Edge, the thinnest phone that Samsung has ever made, is also really good. More videos coming with this soon. But I can make it even better. Simply enable the light performance profile, which prioritizes battery and cooling over processing speed. But see, here's the thing, the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip, which is inside both of these phones, and in fact, it's inside every S25 model, is so fast already that even if you downclock it by enabling light performance profile, you will not notice. Like, I promise you, you will not notice a single difference. In fact, the only difference you will notice is that your phones will not heat up like crazy and battery life will get even better. I highly recommend trying it out, I promise. Once you turn it on, you'll forget about it because you will not actually notice the decrease in performance simply because the chip is already so powerful. And hey, if you listen to music, why haven't you enabled Dolby Atmos yet? It's probably because it's off by default and you might not even know what it is. But from now on, enable it and just leave it on. It gives you a lot better audio quality. And yes, it does work with the phone speakers, but obviously if you want the difference to be more noticeable, you're gonna wanna wear headphones that do support Dolby Atmos, which nowadays is pretty much all of them. What this does is that it kind of changes the sound stage of what you're listening to or what movie you're watching. It just makes the sounds feel a little bit more localized so you can kind of place the object that you're watching in the video to an actual spot in the space. Look, I don't know how it works. It just sounds great. <laughs>
trust me. Now these tips and tricks, uh, some are new, some are old. Uh, hopefully they made your phone experience a little bit better. If you have any of your own tips and tricks you wanna share with the community, yeah, use that little comment section down below because I'm always learning new tricks every day with this phone and all the phones. I have 10 phones. That's a lot of tricks. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely click that like button. It's free for you, but it helps me out a lot. And if you're new here, subscribe. <laughs> As always, this was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.